It's too bright. I'm glad I'm not the only one who's selfie today. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's bright. That is bright. Right, how are you doing? We are, well I'm in London. I've come down um, today. It was a bit of a last minute decision. One, somebody that follows me on Instagram mentioned that Sean Tucker was doing a, an Insta meet. Um, the edge of uh, where we, what well, St James's Park. So I've come down and met Sean Tucker. Really, really good. Spend a bit of time uh, with, with good turnouts actually. About uh, 30, 40 people turned up just to say hello. So it was nice to meet Sean. So uh, yeah, good to meet you, mate. Uh, now I've met a guy, uh, Jim, who was uh, Sean and a few of the guys are going to get something to eat now. So I've met a guy, uh, Jim, who's, who's keen to get out and do some street photography. So we are wandering around uh, on the edge of Piccadilly, and I've just spotted. It's gone dark again, and I've just spotted this building which is extremely cool, it's like these really really nice curves and the light hitting it um, and I thought, so wait, wait, for the, wait for the sun to come out of the clouds because there is a lovely bit of contrast there um, so we're just giving it five minutes just to see because it's really really cloudy and every five minutes the sun comes out and it scorches you but it's absolutely beautiful, really really nice day um, so yeah, I'm going to grab this shot, it's but no one in it at all, it's just nice sort of architectural detailed abstract shot, lovely lovely lines so that's that building in the background there, looks fantastic, yeah going to be a good day. Love London for street photography. Right then, this is Jim. Say hello Jim. Hey. I didn't know Jim about an hour ago, we just met. <laughs> Sean, you already came for an innocent photo walk, didn't you with Sean? That was intention, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's I've been speaking to him for about half an hour about the idea of coming around London and he seems to know the area really, really well. So that's the plan. We're heading up to um, where is this now again? So we're going to Chinatown. Chinatown now, which I've tried shooting in the past, didn't really get on that well. You're an expert. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> it's going to be good fun we'll anyway. Take a look. We'll have a look. We're on around Chinatown. I've I've changed the camera setting, so I've got the X100F. Um, I've got it set to f8. Um, make sure I'm not going to walk into somebody. Uh, I'm at f8. I'm at 500 of a second, and I'm actually about between 1,000 and 1,600 ISO um, because the when it goes overcast, it goes really overcast. When it's bright, it's really bright. So I don't know. I'm trying to stick to manual exposure as much as possible. Um, yeah, it's proving really, really. I'm tempted to put it on auto ISO to be honest with you because I want I want to be able to. I pre-focused at two meters. I want to get some really, really close candid shots and uh, yeah, have a bit of fun and not worry about the camera, just concentrate on getting some fun images. But yeah, this, uh, this light's a tricky one today. Should be an interesting challenge. That's amazing, isn't it? Right, so this is Chinatown. And again, we've done a few alleyways, quite like them, but the camera was, uh, it's difficult to operate this fully manually with, the, with this camera and this camera. So we're trying again to get in, this is the busy part, it's absolute chaos. And what I'm struggling is to get a photograph without having all the chaos in the background. So for me, the biggest challenge isn't really seeing a shot. It's getting a shot that I think that I'd actually like because the backgrounds just look so chaotic. And obviously at F8 or F11 or whatever, again, went really bright for a second. It's just going to be so chaotic. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking. I'm just, I'm just obsessed with looking for sim more simple, still candid, still fun. But yeah, just trying to keep it simple because the backgrounds here are really chaotic. It's good fun though. Hold off in that picture. <laughs> I think I'm definitely being sold off. I can't wait to look at that one. <laughs> so, 
So I come to photograph this alleyway and Jim spotted the reflection of the alleyway. So he's just got a good shot of a guy walking, obviously up there. Uh, good reflection there because you've got the frame of the, of the doorway there. Do you get it? Yeah. Get Ish. It. It's just, I mean, walking up this way is bad enough. We're not doing another loop. <laughs> no, I think, I think. There you go. If I can work my camera. I want to see what's Any good? I think he was moving a bit too quick. Yeah, yeah. I think I got it. Good shot there, that guy sitting on them rocks. <laughs> That's always the way when I start filming. Um, yeah, I've kind of given up with the pre-focus at two meters. I missed. I don't know. It, I seem to when I'm pre-focusing at two meters, I see something far away, and when I pre-focus or wait, something normally happens in front of me. And it's just a bit frustrating. Um, that is a good shot though. That guy sitting on them boxes do like that. So, you, how do you, sh you, what sort of street photography do you tend to go for, Jim? Do you, do you, do you like the sort of weight, or do you like the candid, or? Um, kind of find a composition and something with good lighting, good shadow and then wait for a subject to walk in. So I might be in an area for a couple of minutes, depending on who comes through, take a couple of photos and then just pick the best one out. There we are. On. So you're prepared to wait for the shot? Kind of, yeah. 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 There we are. Yeah, so we're going to be shooting quite similar today then, I suppose, aren't we? Probably. Do you enjoy the candid though? When, when, you, when, you, when you put yourself out of your comfort zone and do you wait, when, when you think, hang on, I'm going to try and get something spontaneous, do you enjoy that challenge or would you rather not? <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It's okay. It's just nerve wracking when they look back at the camera and they, you can see them through the glass looking at you like, what are you doing? <laughs> being caught. Um, yeah, being yeah, caught. So, yeah. Yeah, I had that there. A that guy looked like he was telling me off back there, didn't he? <laughs> well, anyway, so I'm going, to, I'm going to just resort back to my back button focusing because I, I lost a shot back there, which I'm quite frustrated about. Um, it might be alright to show you, but when I punched in, it didn't look sharp. But uh, I think you get away with, with, with soft, softer, softer images of street photography, but you do want it sharp. Don't you? Anyway, we're going to leave Chinatown now. What, any plans where we're going to head? Um, maybe we'll go through Soho and then maybe head over to the British Museum. There we are. Get that way. Let's go there. See you in a minute. Huh? Oh, and a bike. The bike must be cool. is to get the camera as close to the glass as possible and I've pre-focused on that point there on the F4 and I've got the shutter fast enough on a burst mode so that I'll get a few options um, but yeah I don't know who's staring at me the other side of this glass that's for sure no. I don't know if I like that that's kind of weird that's kind of weird that works Really close to the glass, try and keep it in the square. It's actually kind of weird, but it works. I'm at F8, focus at your foot. Go there.
Do you like this shop? The two guys, it's like bookends. Oh, the one guy is <laughs> a bookend. I did like it. I liked it. It's, it's, it's not 100%, is it? I don't know if it's because they're both like small. Yeah. I quite like the framing, though. Yeah, it's nice. Might still be an okay-ish shot. What about him on his own? Is that better? So that is us done. It started to rain and it was kind of crap, so we decided to head back now. He's got a 30 minute cycle ride back to Hackney. Hackney. I've got a four hour drive back to South Wales, so yeah. It's been good. Do you, and you got some good, good pictures? Yeah, a couple. A couple, couple of good photos. A couple yeah. you're looking forward to having a look at? Yeah, yeah, end of the month. I reckon you've got some crackers. I've seen, I've seen a few that you got. So yeah, it's been really good fun. Um, Great to meet this chap. I don't suppose for a minute you thought you were going to be in a vlog today, did you? Uh, no, no, a bit of a surprise. <laughs> you thought, I'll be chuffed to meet Sean Tucker. <laughs> really want to end up in one of my videos. So, yeah, it's been really, really good. Um, I'm going to head back now, but I really hope you enjoyed the walk. Get out of the way then. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm pretty sure we got some good snaps. It's been good fun anyway. So, uh, yeah, challenging light at the beginning, but it settled down. Went a bit overcast, so getting nice contrast was, contrast was a bit difficult, and I really, really normally hone in on that really, really strong contrast. I know I'm a few snaps as well by having it all pre-focused at three meters and that didn't work out quite as well because I suppose because it wasn't the strong light um, but yeah I think we've got, got some good shots anyway thanks so much for watching uh, if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and uh, I'll see you again soon cheers take care